This is from Edmonds. And Edmonds, if you don't know, I'm actually a big fan. Um, their true cost of ownership calculator is one of the best uh, things out there to understand the true cost of owning a vehicle. Um, and they've been doing some YouTube stuff lately. It's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even know they had a channel, but uh, these guys do a great job. Um, here in this video, they're comparing the Tesla Model 3 long range, kind of the early edition, with the Cadillac uh, Super Cruise. And the Cadillac Super Cruise is, was just rated uh, as the best one, uh, but, but the best kind of uh, driver assist features. Now, the big difference between them is that one is a hands-on and the other is a hands-off system. So Dan here is driving the actual hands, the, the, the Super Cruise, the Cadillac, and this is a hands-off system where on the steering wheel, I don't know if we'll get a shot of it here, it's actually monitoring your eyeballs. He even puts glasses on and looks away and, and, it, and uh, sunglasses on and looks away and it notices that he's looking away, and then it tells him, it gives him warnings to take the wheel. Uh, whereas, of course, the, the Model 3 is a, is a hands-on system, not a hands-off, um, and so it's you know a bit different. You don't get as much convenience because you have to keep your hands on the wheel, um, but you also don't have as crazy monitoring and these things um, as you do in this car. Now, the one of the big points, you can see the map right here, is that uh, with the Cadillac Super Cruise, it only works on certain freeways that they have mapped. Now, I think this is a good strategy, and I know that other companies are working to do this. Essentially, if you had extremely detailed maps of all the roads, then it wouldn't be that hard to kind of hard code, we would say in the, in the programming world, um, how the car should drive, right? It's easy to detect objects around you if you know exactly where the road is going. It's super, super straightforward. However, I don't think that's a very scalable solution. Um, perhaps if there are a way to automatically do this with every car on the road or something, it would work. But I'm not sure the mapping technology of like it requiring a detailed map is really a truly scalable, scalable solution. Um, it's definitely not AI and neural networks and all the stuff that Tesla's doing. So I would say even if it works better based on that one um, website rating or, or whatever, uh, it's still very, it's less ambitious and, and in the long run, not going to be nearly as, as, uh, um, as valuable as, as, as accurate, right? They're, they're basically not doing, they're, they're kind of masking, they're simulating the same idea of what Tesla's trying to do. Tesla's actually doing something that that's pushing the boundaries. So, uh, I think it's good. I think it's great that we have these driver assist features because I think they'll help keep us safer, but it doesn't seem like that is going to get us to fully autonomous vehicles anytime soon. Um, of course, uh, in this test, uh, the autopilot on the freeway works great. And then on surface streets, it doesn't. Surprise, surprise. If you guys have tried that, you'll know that often surface streets have big bumps and sharp turns and things that are just not very, uh, it's just not very good at. Um, and this also being an early edition Model 3, this is before they, they did the most recent round of upgrades to the software. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this video because I thought it was I thought it was really well done, um, and it was very interesting to me to learn more about the Super Cruise, and I thought you guys would be interested in that as well. I don't really, uh, you know, do this as like a them versus them, you know, anything like that, like Tesla and everyone else sucks kind of thing. I think it's great that we're all kind of working on these kind of things. So. Yeah, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you guys haven't seen this video, I'll put a link to it because I do think it's worth watching. And obviously, Edmunds, uh, pr pretty you know uh, reputable brand in the auto industry and have been around for a long time, so you know, um, you know that this is going to be high quality stuff. So they also gave me some interesting ideas about angles to shoot for uh, for my own videos coming soon.